Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex and I'm happy to have you guys back here. In today's video, we'll be checking out this amazing piece of plugin called Scalar EQ and it's by Plugin Boutique. Like we always do in this channel, we do these reviews together. So feel free to let us know what you think in the comment section. And if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, please do like, comment, subscribe and remember to turn on your notification bell for more videos like this so with that being said guys let's get started i'll be using the trial version which they offered 30 days free trial for today's demonstration and over here i have some loop samples that i'll be using i have a vocal i have piano and i have a drum scalar eq's primary function is to boost harmonic frequencies related to the key of your music and cut harmonic frequencies not related to that key. So let's check it out. Now let's take a look at the harmonic frequencies that are out of the scale of G minor. So what we can do to hear that is to go to this scale lock mode over here, disable it and disable flip harmonics. So what you are seeing now is set of frequencies that are not in key. As you can see, we are on G minor. These frequencies are not in that key. So pay close attention to this image here. The moment I switch to in scale, it changes and it locks into the right scale of the key of the project. So when you disengage it, what it's showing you is the harmonic frequencies that are out of that key. So in situations like this, what you would do is to use the gain knob to cut it out to taste right so but before then let's listen to that and hear how they sound I intentionally activated this solo button here just to hear the processed sound. Now, another way this can be done is with the help of this feature here called harmonic peak plus slash minus. The one we used is harmonic peak, but this one is harmonic peak plus and minus. So which means as you can see, you are boosting the harmonics that are in key and cutting out the harmonics that are not in key at the same time. And you need to pay very close attention in doing this so that you don't over do it so the next thing we'll be checking now is the before and after we engaged scalar eq so let's have a quick listen this is before so this is after So it actually depends on what you are going for. If you 
if you're trying to use this to add some sort of rhythmic movement at the background so it all depends on what you want to achieve so but in this case i will just cut out those harmonic frequencies that are not in key of the project i'm working on so we'll switch back to this one here and uh cut this one out as you can see i disabled the in scale and the flip harmonics so we are now working on the out of key harmonic frequencies so let's do a comparison this is without cutting it out And this is with it. All right, the next feature we'll be checking out is the dictate key feature. This button allows Scalar EQ to dictate the key of any sample. So let's find out. I'll be using this piano loop, which is on G minor to check and see if it will give us an accurate result. think it's right as you can see is on G minor so the dictates feature is accurate the next feature we'll be checking out is the mono frequency and stereo width with the mono frequency you can decide to make certain frequencies mono for example let's say you want to make 50 Hz mono as you set it on 50 Hz it to convert everything within that frequency of 50 Hz into mono and now with the stereo width any band you choose you can decide to widen the stereo width so let's check it out with this same piano loop All right, so as you can see, the scalar EQ can also be used as a dynamic EQ. You choose any band you want, you engage the dynamic section of it, set the ratio and attack and release, and it has a whole lot of presets, factory presets you can try out. And another interesting thing about scalar EQ is that the magic shelf bands deliver punchier low end and smoother highs. All right, guys, that will be all for today's uh, review on scalar EQ. That they just released i'll be leaving the link in the description if you are interested to try it out just download the trial version you know experiment with it and that is the best way you can have a first-hand experience and feel free to let us know what you think in the comment section so like always stay creative stay focused and see you guys in the next one bye for now